So I'll go through these, uh, some of these quickly uh, and uh, things that you can read on your own, but some uh, that I'd like you to learn a little bit more about. So everybody know what, the, uh, what a financial audit is, right? Everybody know what a financial audit is, right? That's what we most learn. That's the uh, present fairly, you know, in our opinion, the financial statements are presented fairly in compliance with generally accepted accounting principle. And uh, what we have is we have financial audits of organization. And um, if you were to look at, for instance, the uh, audit of the CAFRs, there will be a, the first part is what? An opinion from the state auditor or an external accounting firm. So let me explain to you the next thing. All the audit opinions we see are given by external audit firms. For governments, something strange happens. Not only external firms, but government auditors. And you say, that doesn't sound good. How can a government auditor be independent? But under AICPA and GAO rules, if that auditor who's doing the work is independent of the executive branch, they can in fact perform the audit. I'll give you an example. New Jersey State Auditor can do the audit of the New Jersey State Government because the auditor is appointed by the legislature. The audit is being done of the executive branch. You know the three branches of government, right? So they have different bosses and it can be done. So you'll see that difference from, um, you know, from place to place. Some of them you have the external firms and some of them you have um, the state auditor itself. So these are the standards, you know, auditors are supposed